37-yard line. Riggs in motion. Back to Woods. The pickpockets were Dwayne Woodruff and number 26, Rod Woodson. Woodson helped the aggressive Pittsburgh defense produce the third highest takeaway total. Woodson displayed the form that made him a Pro Bowl kick returner. Taken by Woodson. Now he's heading to the outside of the 30, the 35, 40, up over the 45, the 50, down the sideline. Being pursued by Elisic. He's going to go the distance, the 20, the 10, the 5. Touchdown, Pittsburgh! The 20 to 17 victory helped the sun break through for the five and six Steelers. And the Steelers maybe could come up with a big defensive play. Moon hands it off and Lorenzo White running the far side. He takes a oh. mighty hit, fumbles the ball. The Steelers have the football. Then I asked for a big defensive play and Rod Woodson comes through. What a play by Rod Woodson. Rod Woodson's kamikaze hit and fumble recovery set up the Steelers. Could run Kane down before he gets into the end zone. Because it gives Boomer a chance to strike. Last play of the first quarter, Boomer looks to the end zone, and he is picked off by Rod Woodson. And But wait a minute, did he push Eddie Brown, TJ? Some pushes are very subtle, Rod, and this was not one of them. 7-19 <laughs> to play in the first quarter. Barker's kick. Wobbly. Not too good. And... Up comes Woodson, bobbles it at the 22, gets it back up at the 25, the 30. Here he comes. Up over the 50, the 45, the 40, the 30, down to the 20. He's going 10, 5, touchdown Pittsburgh. Woodson came right through Kansas City like water through a spill. Quarterback Rod Woodson added another dimension to his game with a career-high six sacks. Woodson also maintained his status as one of the premier coverage cornerbacks in the NFL. And his play overshadowed... Larry Rice is lined up in the slot to the right. Man in motion, they swing it out to Rathman. And Rathman is hit at about the six-yard line. Rod was the first man to get to him. Maybe he might have called a timeout. First and goal at the six. Young passes out to Brett Jones, and he is hit. And a fine play by Rod Woodson. Remember, Woodson was second on the team in quarterback sacks last year with six. Steelers have to be wary of it. Second and seven. There's a blitz. And the pass is intercepted. Rod Woodson is down in Niner territory. Watch the pressure on the left side by Green. Young gets away from him, and now he's going to float this ball to Jones. Too high. Zone coverage by the Steelers. That's why Woodson was there for the interception. It's blocked. And it's picked up and lateral down to Johnson. 
Johnson carries it past the 30th. Shows you uh, the athletic ability he possesses. What a great player. Watch him lay out here. He's on the uh, this side of the screen here. And he got a false start, a flying start. That's why he gets in there and makes this block. Boy, the officials are having an opening day day for themselves, aren't they? They blew that call. The end zone. 17-13. Young on the run, but he's picked off by Rod Woodson. A nice play, and watch this, he's not done. The pitch to D.J. Johnson, and here comes the fun. Oh, going to get a block. Oh, going to go. Oh, it's a bat. I bet it. Oh, Nelly got hit a little late with a headbutt. And oh, they're really getting it on down there. Street, second play from scrimmage from New Orleans. Wayne Wilson hasn't thrown an interception in 107 passes. Oop. Rod Woodson with the deflection off Derek Brown. And he goes, goes, all the way with blocking. 63 yards. Johnson Wood returned. Second quarter, Steelers get a jump start on special teams. That is Rod Woodson weaving his way across midfield. Stepping into Mark Carrier. Testaverde again, picked off this time by Rod Woodson. Art Modell. It's so very dangerous at corner. Jeff Flake looking across the field. Oh my God, what's up? got up. And he could go all the way. Touchdown. 31 to 7 Steelers. And then the blitz. Woodson, but they blitz corners from the. Ucor is uh, a surfer. But bad news early for Rod Woodson. Twists his knee. Tommy, it looks like a turf injury. This is the way many injuries happen. No hit on Rod Woodson. Just trying to plant, come back. The Deion Sanders out here, man to man on Woodson. Watch, watch Woodson. He just forced him to the outside, gets his hands on him to know where you are. I think that's just decoy anyway. It's called Rod Woodson. Many thought he'd never play this year, and he worked and worked after that knee surgery after the first game of the season, and he made one of those typical great corner plays of his. Well, look at Rod Woodson right here. He's single coverage on the outside by Mike Orvin. A good plant, and if that ball is thrown to the outside, he's going to intercept it. So on fourth down, John Jett point his first pass today, even he played so well last week. Picked up by Rod Woodson, the veteran who missed almost all of last year with an injury. Good, go, all the way. He beats me to the end zone. They're moving up. Now, if I can see it, why can't Jeff Blake see it? They're coming up the middle, and he's down, and he fumbles, and Rod Woodson picks it up, and it's gone. It's as simple as that. The 10th sack results in a touchdown, 20 to 10. The Steelers win it. Another receiver, and then Carnell Lake, very deceptive blitz here, starts back in the coverage, then comes on Tony Banks and forces the interception to Woodson. Mike Tomczak was... ...sub, and he was called for intentional grounding. Heath Schuler picked up by Rod Woodson. Late, later in the first quarter, Schuler passing. Tipped by Bryant Young. Mario Bates. No, Rod Woodson. Second interception. And let's get him go. Almost looking like the mercurial Rod. Mike Ditka pinches Heath Schuler and he goes to Danny Werfel. Fifth play. Rod Woodson. The hat trick. Down the sideline. Sets up a garrison for. 10 games. Same score, fourth quarter. Glenn Foley back to pass. Rod Woodson. The veteran can still do it. He could go all the way. His second pick of the afternoon. 60-yard touchdown. Three picks thrown by Glenn Foley. Donald Hollis in. Late first quarter. Hollis has led the Raiders to three wins. Oh, no. Picked off by Rod Woodson. Second pick for a touchdown this year. Eighth in his career. The record nine by Ken Hughes. Bench following the third quarter. In the fourth quarter, Ty Detmer is in. And look at Rod Woodson. He's made a career of doing this. He could go all the way his eighth interception return for a touchdown tying him with Dion for second place Ken Houston the NFL mark with nine well, touchdown passes career high and then a bit of history Rod Woodson could go all the way for the ninth time in his career late second it's 13 nothing and Jeff Blake is picked off by Rod Woodson going to the Pro Bowl now as a free safety his 54th interception ties him with the legendary Willie Brown. Could he go all the way for the third time this year? If he does, it's his 10th return. Fourth quarter, becoming the first team since the 85 Bears to turn in consecutive shutouts. And Rod Woodson recovers. Rod Woodson made the recall. 
in the pocket. Pretty good time. Throws down the middle. It's picked off. Rod and Rod Woodson were masters against the deep ball, creating havoc and turnovers. In his 14th season, Rod Woodson intercepted four and was selected to his ninth Pro Bowl. The heart and soul got a feature this morning. Yes, we did. 10-0 <laughs> in the second quarter. Rod Woodson with career interception number 58, tying Emmett Thomas for eighth all-time. Boy, is Giants 0 for 7 on third down, looking at a third and three here. Over the middle. High Gilliard, first down across the 35-yard line. Later, it doesn't seem to be as serious as it looks. They took him in for the x-rays, but there's definitely blood on it, and it is definitely sore. At this point in time, I'd say he's questionable. Back to you. All right. Ike Hillier does not get complete possession of the football and make a football move, and it's pretty close. It was awful. Close. I got to see it again. Right. He has possession. The ball does slide just a little. A long trail for him to a Super Bowl title by way of Cleveland. Once again, the final score of Super Bowl 35, Baltimore 34, New York Giants 7. And to the state of Maryland, this belongs to you. Mr. Modell, for you, I know this is the completion of a dream for the people who have followed your franchise for 40 years from Cleveland and to Baltimore. What do you have to say to them all? I I'm grateful to so many people. I I, I want to pick out my family, my, my son David, my son John, Brian Billick, the best coach in the National Football League, Ozzie Newsom, and wait a second, wait a second, and my boss, Pat Modell. <laughs> a little chair, please. <laughs> Congratulations, Art. Congratulations. Third and one. McNair, the flip to Mike Green. The halfback option, Rod Woodson. Did he close in a hurry or he what? He closed in a hurry. Go for two, don't get it. 32 27 Ravens. Manning, over the middle, and history. Rod Woodson with the pick and the convoy. He could go all the way into the record book. His 10th career touchdown on an interception, setting an all time NFL mark. Manning and Moore have. And it almost was all they needed. On the quarterback sneak, dives, football comes loose. Didn't hear a whistle. Woodson picks it up. He's running up the far side. Go, run! 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 Go, run!